Hey man, it's me, Kevin Smith. We're at the IMDb studio here at Sundance 2018. And look, is the director and the cast of Come Sunday. Give it up for him, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> but also here is a producer and a guy who we all know from his other job, man. It's Mr. Ira Glass. How are you, sir? Nice to be here. And this begins with you. Am I understanding that correctly? Does it begin on This American Life? There was a story that we did on This American Life about this ministry named Carlton Pearson who basically... Uh, God revealed to him that there is no hell, that you don't have to, that even if you don't believe in Jesus, you go to heaven, starts to preach it, and then he, he basically loses everything, uh, loses his church, loses his friends. And we thought it could be a movie because it's sort of a classic movie story where like a man stands up for what he believes in despite all the arrows that are slung against him. There's so few movies where you actually see people in this country uh, who have faith portrayed in a way that is sympathetic and inside their world. How quickly does one say yes when they hear something like Instantaneously. this? Instantaneously. Gotta be, right? <laughs> Coming into it, um, do you have any sort of faith or religious background that I, drives see, you? See, I was, I was raised Jewish, and there is no hell in Judaism. And That's it's, right. So it's That's right. fascinating to me, the no whole concept, either. no afterlife, fascinating to me, the concept of hell and that people cling so dearly to that idea. And they, a story about someone who says, maybe hell doesn't exist, and people say, uh, no, uh, we like the idea of hell, and we think it exists, and, and we think that people are going to it. And it's upsetting to us to think that you could just live any way you want with no, with no possible judgment. Uh, Jason, this is uh, the second Sundance in a row for you. You like to go towards uh, ch challenging or more grown-up material, considering like one of my favorite movies of all time is Forgetting Sarah Marshall. Oh, thank you. And that's and we know that's in you. The Muppet work is beautiful as well. Thanks. <laughs> it must take a lot to take somebody who likes to create content away from their own stuff and work on somebody else's thing. It happened to be that I actually felt very personally connected to this idea. I have a Jewish father and a Christian mother, so I went to Episcopalian school during the day and Hebrew school in the afternoons. <laughs> so and, they were uh, like, you're going to hell, and then the other guys were like, there's no hell, don't well, worry about you it. you know what? <laughs> it's so funny, you're, you're, you're kind of too young at that point to have those kind of specific beliefs, but I'll tell you what it does do is you're the Jewish kid at Christian school and the Christian kid at Jewish school. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. it's like very interesting to me how much we need to make somebody the other. And there's some of that in this movie that I felt was really interesting to explore. Ms. Rashad, you've worked with Josh before? Yes, I have. What was it like going back into the trenches again? Um, it's amazing. I really love working with Josh. We all had our connection to the piece. And even, even when like, the makeup team and the hair team and, and the production, like everybody had this sense of like we were all really there because we really wanted to have this story told.